Welcome to St. Andrew's Daily Prayer for Monday, December the 25th, Christmas Day. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. You laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth. To you be praise and glory forever. As your living word, eternal in heaven, assumed the frailty of our mortal flesh, May the light of your love be born in us to fill our hearts with joy as we sing. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. A reading from Psalm 97. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings lit up the world. The earth saw it and trembled. The mountains melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples have seen his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in mere idols. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments, O Lord. For you, Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his faithful and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joy for the true of heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Let us pray. Most high and holy God, enthroned in fire and light, kindle in us the fire of your love, that our lives may reveal the light and life we find in your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our scripture reading today are verses from Revelation chapter 21 and 22. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life, with its twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there any more. But the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night. They need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. And he said to me, These words are trustworthy and true, for the Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, has sent his angel to show his servants what must soon take place. See, I am coming soon. My reward is with me to repay according to everyone's work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. The assembly of your people proclaims your truth. Our lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. By the power of the Spirit and in unity with Christ, trusting always in God's life-giving intent for creation, let us pray. Lord, we pray for your world. In this season of fulfilled hope in the birth of your Son, inspire hope in the hearts of our leaders and innovators, 
that the many troubles we face together may indeed be resolved as we learn to value your good creation and seek to live according to your wisdom. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for your church, and we are so grateful to you for its presence in our lives. Whether we have known many church communities over the years or only one, thank you for the friendship, comfort, wisdom, and love we have both given and received among our sisters and brothers in Christ. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all people in our community that they might find their way to a church this Christmas season to hear anew, or perhaps for the first time, about the humbling, loving gift you've given us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the gift of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brings reconciliation. May we come to know you more clearly and serve you more faithfully as we receive the Christ child again. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Lord God, your word was made flesh and came to dwell among us and lives forever as the hope of the nations. Renew within your church the gift of hope. Give us the vision to dream of a better future, the courage to work to bring it about, and the steadfastness to resist cynicism and despair, that through your Son's presence we may know that great things are possible for all who believe in his name. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please join me as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the light of Christ shine in all our hearts. Amen.